Over the next few minutes, with the help of ham carving expert Philippe Perez Cruz and using a quick and simple method, we will demonstrate how to carve and preserve an authentic acorn fed Iberian ham or ham on. This will enable the flavor, aroma, and texture to be appreciated and for the most to be made of each mouth watering piece. The different parts of the ham joint used in the carving process jarete, maza, contramaza, punta. First, we are going to show the utensils that will be needed. Three different knives will be used. A wide-bladed knife, a sharp pointed knife, and a long, thin-bladed and flexible knife to slice the meat. We will need a steel to keep the knife blade sharp and also a ham holder to keep the ham on firmly in position so that it can be carved safely. Before starting to carve the ham on, it must be cleaned. First, we use the wide-bladed knife to make a deep cut around the leg and cut through the nerve of the jarete. We remove the rind and clean away the outside pork fat, which has a yellow color and a rancid taste, leaving the meat clean and ready to be carved. If the ham on is not going to be used all at once, it is important to clean only those parts which are going to be carved so that the rest of the meat can remain protected. We place the ham on in the ham holder with the martha facing upwards. To slice the meat, we use the ham knife. The first slices of pork fat are kept for later use in protecting the area being carved. If the ham is to be eaten over a prolonged period of time, the carving should be started at the barbilla, which is cured to a greater degree as it is a narrower section of the joint. We carve the meat so that the area being carved remains flat. This makes the task easier. It is important to combine pork loin with pork fat so that each slice has maximum flavor. When the hip bone is reached, we use the sharp pointed knife to separate the ham on from the bone, trying all the time not to damage the meat. Continue to slice the ham, going around the bone, so that nothing is wasted. When the martha is carved, we try to combine cuts from the whole surface area to obtain slices from the different muscles and mix the distinct flavors. The muscles are easy to identify by their variation in color. Once this part is finished, we turn the ham on over so that we can start carving the contramatha and the barbilla. At the end of the ham on, near the hoof, we find areas of meat that are not suitable for slicing. The best way to use this part of the ham on is by cutting it into small cubes. Now, all you have to do is to enjoy the taste of authentic Iberian acorn-fed ham.